Hey, what's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Please turn on those notifications. I think that you will be satisfied with your decision to do that, and I would truly appreciate it. And make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at The Real Deal WDA. I would truly appreciate that as well. Today I'm coming to you with my reaction to Robert Kraft, owner of the New England Patriots, getting charged with the solicitation of a prostitute. Now there's two parts to this, right? There's the mega huge part of it, which I guess this massage parlor was a part of a big human sex trafficking case. Now, human sex trafficking, human trafficking in general is just horrible. It's one of the worst things that's going on in the world, period. Hopefully we can put a stop to it one day. And I'm glad that the law enforcement in that area was able to put a stop to this particular situation. There's a movie called Traffic with Paula Patton in it where it's about human trafficking and it's really an eye opener to how big the problem is in the world, not only just in this country, but the world period. And like I said, hopefully we can get a stop put to it one day. Second part, the solicitation of a prostitute, a misdemeanor that Robert Kraft got charged with. I'm not appalled, shocked. I'm not, oh my God, I can't believe that he would do such a thing. How could he go and pay for some extra, you know, a piece of booty at the massage parlor? Oh my goodness. I can't believe that he did that. Come on, man. Let's be for real. It happens every day, B. Oh, let's say the headline read, old rich white guy pays for sex at massage parlor. Okay. And, like, there would be no reaction to it. There would be no, oh my God, no outrage. Let's stop the fake outrage, okay? That happens every day. And I'm not going to look down upon Robert Kraft for doing that. Old dude looking for some attention. You know, maybe he's, they say he has a girlfriend at home, but maybe he's not getting it there. He has money to burn. You know, he paid a little extra change to get something strange. Okay. I'm, it's hard for me to get angry about that, to be like, oh my God, the NFL should ban him. Stop it. Now, it's still against the law, no matter how I feel about it. So the NFL has to react to it. What should the NFL do? What can they do to one of the owners of a team? Not only an owner, but an owner of the best franchise of the past 20-something years. When you are an owner, I don't think there's much they can do to you. Suspend you from a game, find you a million dollars. And I don't think in this case they should hurt the team. They shouldn't take a draft pick from New England or anything of that nature because Robert Kraft got caught up in this. Like I said, he got caught up in a small part of a really big situation. If he was part of the huge big situation, then yeah, that's something that you have to really go into it and be like, oh, we gotta make sure this guy pays. If he was part of that, then you gotta like force him to sell a team, stuff like that. But since he was just charged with a misdemeanor of just paying for sex. Seems like he was just an old dude that heard about his massage parlor and had no idea what the big part of it was. Okay. I'm not shocked by that. I'm not somebody who's going to call for his head to be in my hand because he had the nerve to pay for sex. Stop it. He should get fined. Maybe be suspended a game. Maybe. Eh. He's probably not going to do any jail time because it's a misdemeanor. So maybe my reaction is too relaxed. Maybe I'm tripping. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm tripping. Let me know what you think the NFL should do to Robert Kraft for being involved in this. All right. Until next time, go real or go home.